We're counting down the top five cameras used in Nollywood and samples of movies those cameras were used on. So let's start with number five. My number five top camera used in Nollywood would be the Panasonic P2 camera. It's a pretty decent camera that shoots 720p HD and has been used on loads of movies. Most of the interesting Yoruba movies you see were shot on this camera. To Live Again, I also know, was also shot on this camera. Pretty decent camera, gives you good picture. My number four camera on the countdown would be the Sony PMW EX3. It's a camera that also shoots full HD, but it goes all the way to 10, 1080p. And it was the camera that shot the very popular award-winning figurine movie. Though for figurine, they attached the lettuce adapter and they used prime lenses. But the main camera, of course, the camera body was Sony PMW AX3. So number three on my list would be the DSLR cameras. I'm tempted to say the Canons, but I'll just say DSLRs. We know Canons make DSLRs and they're most popular, but we also have Nikon DSLRs. But the Canon 5Ds, the 7Ds, the 50Ds and the likes are at number three because a lot of movies nowadays are being shot. Example, Return of Jennifer was shot on the Canon. Uh, Okoro the Prince by Charles Wagba was also shot and several other Nollywood movies. Number two on my list on this week's countdown would be the red camera. The red, of course, you know you have the red Epic, the Scarlet, the red one, the Mysterium X, whichever one, I'll put them together on the same platform. The red camera is a fantastic camera and it comes on number two because you have superb picture quality. You can go up to 5K, that's what you want to shoot. And even when you shoot 2K, the pictures are just so good. It's evident in movies like Dr. Belo, movies like Dream Walker, and several other Nollywood movies. And my number one pick on this top five cameras used in Nollywood would have to be the Ari Alexa. Yes, it's a very expensive camera to rent or to buy. But the reason why it's my number one pick is because of the film look. We all know Ari, they make, the, I mean, they're superb at making film cameras. So when they went digital, they ensured that you do not lose that same, almost the same film look you have when you shoot film. The look and feel is why most people would always embrace it as the number one choice. Last Flight to Abuja is the only Nigerian film I know that's been shot in Hollywood by this camera, and it's a wonderful camera. It's my number one pick.